Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm recording this on my MacBook Air 2020 with the M1 Apple Silicon chip and I've had many requests to look at the game Brawlhalla and benchmark it and run it and see if it works well. And unfortunately Brawlhalla's Mac port is a 32-bit application which means that it won't run on the M1 Apple Silicon via Rosetta. And I've also tried it via Crossover as well and that means running the Windows version of the game through crossover stroke wine to get it to work. And it does actually open and play and you can actually get into a game, but it lags so hard that it's virtually unplayable. So the only other real way to play the game would be to sideload the iPhone or iPad app onto the M1 Mac, which the M1 Mac is perfectly capable of playing, but there was some window and sizing issues, which meant that you wouldn't be able to play it in a very large window and you wouldn't really be able to see very clearly what was happening. However, with the release of macOS 11.1 Beta 2, there have been substantial improvements in the way that Big Sur now handles iOS or full screen applications. So I'm just gonna demonstrate that for you now, just to see how it runs. So the very first thing that you want to do if you want to be able to play Brawlhalla properly on your M1 Apple Silicon Mac is to enroll in the Apple Beta software program. So once you've signed up to this, then your Apple ID will be able to download the latest version of the beta which is gonna be necessary to run Brawlhalla on full screen. So because Brawlhalla is not available to download on the App Store, then we'll need to sideload the application onto the computer. So you'll need to follow a link on the top right-hand side of the screen that's gonna appear now, and that's gonna take you to my tutorial for installing and sideloading applications which aren't available on the Mac App Store. So once you've followed my tutorial, you'll get to a window similar to this, and we're just gonna type in the word Brawlhalla so Brawlhalla will appear here if you've ever downloaded it on your Apple ID. And what I'm gonna do now is press Control and Export IPA, and I'm going to export it to my IPA installer folder. So once that's done, I'm going to double click on Brawlhalla, and that's going to install it into my applications folder. So I'm going to Control click on this and click Open and it's gonna launch into the game. And uh, so the new feature here is that we're able to press full screen and, it, and it's loading properly. So as you can see, the game loads correctly and it's in the correct aspect ratio and it's relatively sharp. It looks like the kind of iPad version of the game with the iPad aspect ratio and it seems to work quite well. So I do recommend that you go and edit the controls and that you add a controller. I'm going to connect my Xbox wireless controller and then I'm going to be able to select the Xbox icon here in the settings. And then I'm gonna control the game using my controller, which I'm doing now. I'm going to do some training and I'm gonna select my character and I'm gonna play. So I'll just do a very quick demonstration and I'm gonna do a proper benchmark type thing afterwards. So as you can see, the game loads pretty well. It's running at a decent kind of frame rate. I can move and navigate properly, um, unlike the laggy crossover wine version of the game. It seems to function perfectly. If you'd like to see some more footage of this game, please click on the end card of this video and you'll see a proper long gameplay video. So I do hope you find this tutorial helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next tech video.